A controversial statue at the state capitol is torn down overnight. Protesters have targeted the statue, which once stood on the West Steps, including spraying it with graffiti. I'm Dylan Thomas bringing you CBS 4 News at noon live on CBS 4 and CBSN Denver. CBS 4's Rick Salinger joins us live at the state capitol. Rick, why is this statue, known as the Civil War statue, so controversial here in Colorado? Uh, Dylan, it has long been associated with the Sand Creek Massacre, which happened back in 1864 when up to 700 Arapaho and Cheyenne Indians were killed. There has been the thought that this was a statue of the colonel that led that massacre, but there are others that disagree with this. The statue was torn down around 1.30 in the morning. There has been the belief that it was of Colonel John Chibbington, but it has been described by others as a generic Union soldier. There are many battles that were commemorated at the bottom on the plaque, and the Sand Creek engagement is listed. The statue was damaged somewhat, and it's being evaluated now and relocated to a secure place. Meantime, it has sparked a debate over history. This monument is designed to commemorate Colorado's involvement in the Civil War. Of course, Colorado was on the Union side, and uh, it lists a number of names and of infantry that served from Colorado and some battles that took place here during that time. The reason I'm happy about this is because I know my history, and I know that that man is one of many men who were part of the Sand Creek Massacre and many other genocidal acts that happened throughout Colorado's early histories. Besides the statue, there were two large cannons here. They have now been removed protectively to put in them place so they can't be damaged. Even before the statue was torn down, we witnessed many people climbing on it and defacing it, just one of many around this country now to fall during this time of national introspection. Live at the Capitol, Rick Salinger, covering Colorado First.